Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to your reading. So today's reading is going to be um, an energy checkup for you and your person, your love interest, the person you came to the reading for. So I'm going to shuffle the Making Magic deck to get the cards for you to choose from. Angel Spirits and Guides, can we get cards for groups one, two, and three respectively, please? I'd just like to take a moment to thank those of you who have subscribed to my channels and channel and left me some really wonderful and supportive comments. Um, you guys are really awesome. I really appreciate how you support one another in the comment section as well as support me in the comment section. It doesn't go unnoticed and I appreciate you, okay? Sending you, sending you lots of love and light. So for group one, let's get a card representing group one, please. For those who will choo choose group, group group one, tongue tied, choose group one. Regarding them and their person, their energy, the energy checkup reading will entail um, your guys' energy, our thoughts and feelings towards the connection. Yeah. And uh, feelings for one another. We'll look a little into the past and the present as well. I'm going to use that for group two. And let's get one for group three, please, Spirit. For those who have chosen group three, let's get a card representing group three, please, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to turn them over so you can see. First one is fire. It says the element of fire. Um, the element of fire heralds new life, renewed passion, and positive transformation. That's a symbol for fire. Group two, love charm. Attract a lover, soulmate, and life partner. That's a sigil for the love charm. And then group three is fairy magic. Respectfully work with the fairies and elementals to achieve your goals. It's the fairy magic sigil. So I guess they can all go this way. So pause the video if you need more time. Remember to use your intuition to pick. It is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Um, for those it does resonate with, and there are many, if it only resonates with one person, I feel that my job is done. And so I am glad for everybody that it resonates for and hopefully it will for you. If you get into a group, decide it's not for you. Um, no need to let me know in the comment section down below. It just means it wasn't meant for you, therefore I really don't care. Um, <laughs> it wasn't meant for you. Um, so choose another group, another reader, another reading. Otherwise, um, please let me know in the comment section down below when it does resonate. I do like to hear the feedback. Understand Helps me to understand the readings that come through. And so again, this is group one, group two, and group three. So timestamps will be in the description box down below. There will be an extended, and I'm gonna get started with group one. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome group one. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So go ahead and think about your person, the person you came to the reading for. Angels, spirits, and guides, for those who have chosen group one, let's do an energy checkup on their relationship, please, on this connection. What's going on in group one's connection? What are their thoughts and feelings towards the connection in general? What are their feelings towards one another? Please give me helpful guidance with regard to that. So for group one, one for you we have this is called hardship five of pentacles but it's in reverse so if this card comes out you do want to see it in reverse right it's earth sign energy you could have that in your chart but don't have to so I feel like you're coming out of a time of hardship whether that's financially if there's been a financial or an emotional loss that's being depicted here so since this is related to the relationship it's related to this connection so it's saying that maybe you um, feel left out in the cold by this person or you left this person out in the cold. There's been some sort of emotional 
or financial loss related to this person, that's starting to turn around. You're thinking and feeling that that's starting to turn around. It's like you have new hope for this connection. Hope is returning and you're, um, you're recovering from something. An odd few could be recovering from an illness or your person is, but that won't resonate for everyone. It's a general reading and like I always say, take what resonates, forget what doesn't. Energies can be interchangeable, reverse the roles as needed. However, this is um, what I'm getting for you, group one, that you're coming out of this sort of a loss, emotional or financial loss. You're recovering and then hope is renewed regarding this connection. Angel spirits and guides, show me group one's person's energy or thoughts and feelings towards this connection, please. group one's person, their love interest, the person they came to the reading for, their thoughts and feelings for this connection, please. Reward, Ace of Pentacles. More Earth Sign Energy. So your person's thoughts and feelings are very positive towards this connection. Maybe this is why you have a renewal of hope. Maybe they've made you an offer, a solid grounded offer, some sort of a proposal, given you a gift, something along those lines. This card can mean all of those things. I'm seeing, you know, that this person is, is viewing this as a good investment. And if um, your money is at all tied up with this person, it's saying that this person is wanting to give to you financially. That is also what I'm getting. And so this person's um, prospects are turning around. They are looking, you know, they're, they're starting to see the value of this connection more than they had in the past. I feel like um, your person energy is saying that after a, after a time of feeling like a failure, after a time of perhaps retreating from this connection or you retreating, someone retreating from this connection, even giving up maybe due to lack of confidence, there is new hope being restored to this connection. A desire for a solid new offer. Um, considering the practical aspects of this connection and how it would work in the real world. So wanting a grounded, wanting to make a grounded offer and have a grounded new beginning here. Okay. person could have gotten a promotion, a new job, or experienced some sort of a, award or recognition, but this is a card that can talk about um, receiving good news of this kind, feeling successful. So their thoughts towards this connection is that they can be successful with you. So, Spirit, what, what are Group 1's feelings towards this person? For those who have chosen Group 1, show me their feelings for this person, please. We've got Delusionment in Reverse. So that is the um, Eight of Swords in Reverse, Air Sign Energy. So... What you're feeling is that there's repair that needs to be done on this connection. That, um, you know, with this Eight of Swords in the reverse, it's actually more positive than when it's in the upright because it does talk about, um, you know, a release, new hope. Uh, maybe some of you released this person as a result of that. Um, you know, letting go has helped to attract, you know, this person back to you. But I am seeing, again, this is validation of the first card, that things were bad in this connection, right? There's something, something to do with loss, something to do with um, restrictions, feeling imprisoned. All of that has turned around for the better. Maybe um, you or your person is feeling less uh, trapped by circumstances or not listening to others 
um, opinions and letting that hold you know you guys back anymore whatever it is this um, eight of swords is talking about you know new hope and freedom feeling liberated feeling liberated I feel like even though you feel free towards this person, like a new sense of freedom, a new sense of hope, you're still keeping your boundaries up towards this person, which is good, that is healthy. And you're sort of just waiting to see how things kind of play out, what actions this person's gonna take towards you, or what actions are gonna take place here before um, putting any more work on, in on this situation. You do have um, new hope in the connection, but you are still kind of watching and waiting because I feel like this person has put you through a lot. This connection has put you through a lot. So you're just sort of watching and waiting with your boundaries up. But you are feeling very persistent towards this connection. I think you're waiting to see, a lot of you, if this person is going to give as much to you and be as generous with you as you have been with them. Maybe that was a problem or an issue in the past in this connection that you gave more than they did. Also, if they, they could, for some of you, owe you money I'm getting and you're waiting to see if they're going to pay you back, you know now that they have the resources to reciprocate in some way, whether this is talking about money resources or resources of time and energy. Yeah, the two, um, the high priestess has come out, the Pappas. So that is telling me that um, there's some unknown element here. You're just trying to rely on your intuition to see if this really is going to be your Ten of Cups, your salvation um, with the salvation card underneath, your wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, emotional satisfaction. You do have high hopes here, but you are being very um, cautiously optimistic, I feel. And you're not... Um, you know, showing your hand entirely, right? You're relying on your intuition. You're, you're, um, you're treating this person like anything you share with them has to be done on a need to know basis, right? You're not just trying to tell them everything or be really upfront with your intentions or your plans or your, you're not telling them how much you hope or how much they've put you through. Um, a lot of you are just keeping stuff to yourself until you see how this person's gonna act towards you. So what is um, group one's person, how does group one's person feel towards them? Spirit, how does group one's person feel towards them, please? How does group one's person feel towards them, please? group one's person feel towards them your person's being tight-lipped about how they feel towards you I think you know they're trying to keep um, their feelings and thoughts close to their chest as well how does group one's person feel towards them please protection ten of Pentacles so the Ten of Pentacles, they feel like um, there is a new opportunity here, you know, for the two of you to have it all, basically, for you guys to really have a, a sound relationship. Um, they are viewing you with the Virginal or Queen of Cups at the back of the deck as someone who's very loving, very nurturing, somebody who gives them a lot of pleasure and a lot of love. Or that you could, you know, they're viewing you as um, a part of this unit. Somebody they can have a legacy with, something somebody can have not only material abundance with, but emotional abundance. Somebody that um, they could have a family with. So they have, um, you know, really beautiful energies towards you, Group One. It's like they want to offer you something. They see the worth of this connection. 
you know, not in a like an unrealistic way, but in a very realistic, grounded way. Okay. So let's look at the past of this connection. I feel like I'm hearing shine. You guys shine. They think you shine. So you're coming across in sort of a, as if you're recovering from a sad or um, painful period in your life regarding this connection, but they only see, they're only seeing your light and how This is not the right. This is <laughs> Barbara G. Walker. That's the name of this deck. Um, but they're seeing how they can, um, how you can fit in their vision for the future. Fit into what they're working for, rather. That's probably a better way to put it. Wanting to um, wanting to possess you, but I'm not feeling it like in a negative way, at least not so far. Kind of just wanting to um, embrace you because you do bring light to the situation. You do bring light to their world, okay? So what's the past energy between group one and their person, please? The lovers, so some of you were actually very much in love in the past. Yeah, somebody could be a Gemini or have that in their chart, but as always, it doesn't have to be. But the lover's card is about um, a harmonious relationship. It's about people cooperating and getting along beautifully. It's about having love between one another, feeling almost like the relationship was meant to be or divinely guided because likely for many of you it was like you were meant to meet this person I'm seeing a lot of deep love here um, this feeling of the strength of being together like um, two heads are better than one sort of energy a real partnership a real true partnership but also um, a choice. And if there was a choice that caused you to be in this five of pentacles in reverse energy, um, well, let's see, what would that choice have been? We've got the tower at the back of the deck in reverse, major arcana, just like the, just like the lovers. I feel like there were fears here that were getting better of the situation. The more fearful energy, to be honest here, that I'm seeing is for um, for you, the viewer. But of course, tr you know, flip it around if it's the other way around. But we're seeing that here. Your person's in very positive, upright energy towards you at at present, and um, and you're coming out of like you're recovering from something. Could have been ill health for some of you, and if that's the case. Um, you know, I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sending you love for that. But it doesn't have to be that. It's just some sort of um, difficulty. And if it's related to a choice, then that choice I feel would have, like, um, would have been, a, it felt like it was on the verge of being a disaster. Like, you, you, you averted a disaster, perhaps, in this connection. That where there could have been great instability in this connection, you were able to find security despite um, despite a tower moment trying to happen to your love in the past. What is the present energy of this connection, please, Spirit? For group one, what is the present energy, please? Depression. Ten of Wands. So it looks like that is a woman there who is on those Ten of Wands while this man watches. So it's like, yeah. So this person has put you through something. This connection has put you through something. And I feel for a lot of you, it's just that this person was not willing to make a commitment to you. 
So this is your present energy right now. It's been a hard slog for you. It's been a hard slog for both of you because this is your combined energy. Some of you are just stressed or exhausted, maybe from work, but also from, from this relationship. You could have too many burdens that you've had to deal with. Um, I don't know if... Um, There was a person is try was trying to impose their will upon you or their um, their family was trying to impose their will upon you. There's this feeling of um, interference, perhaps from like in a work environment if you guys worked together or worked together. But either way, it's like um, it's been hard on you. Someone here is more original and creative. Someone here is more traditional and authoritative, but I feel like whoever that authoritative person is is starting to change and come around. If this person <laughs> tried to boss you around or, or vice versa, you know, the other one didn't respond well to that or is not currently presently responding well to that. So I'm gonna get, um, let me do this one. Clarification from Island Time Wellness. If this is resonating, please let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. That does support the channel and I appreciate it. I'm gonna get one from the Numinous deck. I'm being called to do that as well. Spirits and guys, give, give us clarification on this reading, please, for this energy check for group for group one. Those who have chosen group one. We do have the eighth house, and this is about intimacy investments. It's interesting because we have these two cards of investment. Your person is willing to invest in this connection with you now. Are they getting to that point? I feel that presently they are, but it has been a point of conflict or contention between the two of you. There's a lot of intensity. There's a deep love here between the two of you where there was into the past up until, well, leading up till now, something to do contracts, contracts or sex. Um, some of you um, have been married or are married to this person. You know that 10 of pentacles and the lovers in the past position, but it was on the verge of a breakup if not marriage, it was a serious relationship. It was seemed like it was heading that way and it's like been in the past on the verge of breakup. There have been secrets, mysteries, and obsession in this connection. For some of you, you know, one of you is unavailable because of the other one being in a deeper connection or a deeper commitment with somebody else. There are a lot of different messages that I'm getting here. And we've also got inheritance. So this person could be um, inheriting money, or you could be because you're in five of pentacles in the past and you're coming out of that. Somebody had to make a choice related to um, whether or not to have this relationship due to um, the possibility of being disinherit disinherited. Like, so if a family didn't approve, for instance, say you're the one that was going to get an inheritance and your family didn't approve of these, of this person, then um, you had to make a choice whether or not to stay with this person or not. Do you choose the inheritance or do you, do you choose this person? Or it could have been that your person had this choice to make. Again, that's a specific message. I don't expect it to resonate with everybody, but there is something here about that. So I have to say it, but um, yeah, there's intimacy issues in this connection for sure. I feel like, um, and it's, you know, created quite a conflict in the connection and it's carried forward at present. I feel like you've suffered more than your person is or has at least, you know, at this point in this reading. 
and it looks to me like you're the one that's feeling more more of the heat more of the pressure although I feel that they feel it too but they have more I feel like you're turning around you're coming around you're starting to feel more optimistic where they definitely see you as like their end game um, they're still seeing you as somebody that they can have um, a solid home with like I said before like a wise investment so um, let me get clarification from this card deck here spirits and guides for group one can we get clarification on these messages please for for them regarding this energy checkup no stability in the connection despite the deep love the siren this person could have cheated on you with somebody else with that eighth house energy and if they did that it was because they didn't want to have um, the full amount of intimacy that they could have with you they were um, some of you this person could have some sort of an obsession with um, like a sex addiction or at the time in the past when they hurt you, they did. The Siren card says, alluring, seductive, enticing, mysterious, threatening, vindictive, rebellious. Of course, that can represent you as well. You as well, viewer, it can represent you as being somebody that's very seductive and alluring. Um, if this person is in another connection or even if they're not, you are very tempting to them. You know, with that High Priestess card coming out earlier, I feel like they do find you very mysterious, but I also think they find, you know, the depth of this connection threatening. I feel like some of you are rebellious against this person's more of a patriarchal energy. Feminines usually watch my channel. The majority of you are feminines, not all. It's just masculine, feminine energy, like I always say. And if that's the case, whoever is more patriarchal or stereotypically masculine is um, wanting to, like, control you, um, maybe with money. They're very enticed by you. I feel you're rebellious. I'm getting Aquarius energy for some reason. Rebellious towards anybody trying to control you or towards energy. Um, what's the word? <laughs> authority figures. I feel like you're rebellious against authority figures or, um, you know, that your person is whoever the siren energy is resonating with the most. I'm gonna pull you a couple of messages from your person here and then um, I'm gonna take it over the extended where we're gonna look at the future energy as well as the outcome which is the um, you know the bottom line of the, the reading the big message so I'll do that in a minute angel spirits and guys get a message from this from group one's person please Let's clarify this reading I never thought I was a kind to be threatened by your success but I was wrong okay so I feel like this person, for some of you, you um, maybe you're the ones that are having an inheritance. Maybe you're the ones that do better than this person financially, or your person thinks that you have or you are. But in some way, you know, shape or form, um, they were threatened, you know, by you, by your success. I feel like they're, I said that they were threatened perhaps, you know, by the depth of the connection and how alluring they find you. I think that's true as well. I think that sex and, um, you know, the, the, like the eighth house talks about kundalini energy, um, that sort of attraction energy is here. And I feel that that has played a huge role in this connection, especially with the wands energy at present. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. But what the card is saying is that this person is threatened by um, by your success. So even if you are not particularly successful compared to this person or not particularly well off or don't have an inheritance, it could just be your success as like, look at this person. Her head is just held up high. Like she doesn't look down, look down for anyone. So it's like maybe you have just a lot more confidence in this person and this person wanted to, apparently wanted to take you down a notch. I don't deserve 
you, I regret many things that I can't take back. So I'm gonna get advice before I go over to the extended for you. Spirits and guys, what advice do you have for group one regarding this reading in their person, please? Raising your standards. So Spirit is asking you to raise your standards. Some of you need to raise your standards. This person might not be, um, you know, up to your standards. Or even if you, yeah, there's some energy or feeling here that you need to raise your standards regardless of this person. Like, um, don't settle for less than your dreams, you know? This card talks about once you make the commitment to manifest an improved situation in your life, then the universe will find a way to deliver that to you. So I feel that universe is asking you to embrace the fire energy as this is what you picked. So regardless of your sign, this is the element of fire. It's about cleansing. It's about transformation. It does herald um, renewed passion and uh, positive transformation. So I see you undergoing a transformation. Um, you know, because you're turning around some of this negative energy. I feel your person feels very positively towards you, but you need to ask yourself deep down if this is the right person for you. Because this card is saying you know what type of, you know, life you're meant to be, meant to live or be meant to be living. I'm having a hard time because of channel messages, okay? But yeah. Do you know what kind of life you're meant to be living? And so you need to tune into that deep down. You already know if this person is right for you and you all kind of already know what this reading is talking about and what the outcome of this connection is going to be but you can manifest anything that you wish with this card you know you have to be more affirmative and I think that you are you're starting to stop you know get away from scarcity thinking um, some of you maybe thought you didn't deserve love or um, you know there's something here these cards represent lack, represent fear, holding yourself back and self-sabotage. You're, you're transforming out of a period of your life where that was the case. And so you can write down, you know, your heart's true desires and you can journal and you can feel faith and gratitude because those are the emotions that convert your wishes into reality. And you can, you know, talk to the universe, use the law of attraction techniques to try to manifest, use prayer to manifest your dreams coming true. But I feel like... Um, some of you have felt like you haven't deserved, you know, better treatment than what you've gotten in this connection. And if even if you, your ego is like, yes, I do. I know what I, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if this is resonating, <laughs> I just have to say it. If this is resonating, then unconsciously, there is something about you unconsciously that has not felt that you have deserved the best in life. So you can graciously start accepting good into your life. And I see you starting to make those changes. Keep making those changes and know that you deserve the best in life because everybody does. And, you know, hold high standards, you know, for yourself and for this other person. So if they're going to make you an offer, if they see you as, as their end game, you know, make them act like that right and how do you do that we'll find out we'll go I'm going over to the extended to see what the future holds get um, an outcome card some more messages some more Oracle cards I think I'm gonna ask your guides I'm gonna pull a card from the ask your guides deck to give you advice on the situation because I feel like it's needed so if you'd like to follow me over there please do so group one otherwise I'll talk to you next time Welcome group two. Thanks for everybody who's tuned in for your reading. So we're going to look at you and your person, your love interest, the person you came to the reading for, your energies towards one another, your thoughts and feelings towards this connection and uh, past and present. So for those of you who chose the love charm, attract a lover, soulmate or life partner, this is your reading. So go ahead and think about your person. I'm gonna use the, um, the Cosmic Cycle Tarot's, Tarot Deck. Somebody asked about the Cosmic Cycles Tarot. The link for that to order is in the description box below this video for anybody who's interested. 
Angel Spirits and Guides, for those who have tuned in for group two, we get the energies between them and their person, please. Them and their love interest. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in group two's connection, please? Okay, group two, Knight of Cups in reverse. So you could be a water sign or your person could be, but it is in reverse. So it's like feeling a, a lack of love in the connection at present. Yeah, I'm feeling um, your thoughts and feelings towards this connection could be that this person is being somehow emotionally manipulative, manip emotionally manipulative, um, maybe even a bit jealous. Maybe you're feeling that way towards your person. So remember, as always, take what resonates and forget what doesn't. Energies can be interchangeable and roles reverse. Say it one more time for the cheap seats in the back. <laughs> Energies can be interchangeable, roles are reverse. So, AKA, if this is not you, this could be your person. Either way, Knight of Cups represents somebody. When Knight of Cups is in reverse, it can represent somebody who is, you know, being emotionally manipulative, like I said. Could be being jealous. Um, the very least they're being defensive or um, for some of you this person or you have have had or are prone to emotional outbursts it's like they bottle up their emotions to the point whoever this is representing bottles up their emotions to the point where when they finally release them it's like an outburst you could be thinking or feeling this way towards your person like you want to go off on them um, or at the very least like I said jealous or defensive perhaps um, and just bottom line if nothing else resonates there's a sense of somebody feeling, you know, afraid to express their love and their caring in the connection. So you could suspect this person has stronger feelings for you than they're saying or admitting to. And this is really getting on your nerves if that's the case. I'm definitely seeing, um, you know, insecurities in this connection overall, okay? Feeling insecure. What's group two's person's thoughts and feelings towards this connection please what's their energy towards this connection for those who've chosen group two their person what's group two's person's thoughts and feelings towards this connection please of swords in reverse so their thoughts and feelings are like they're getting out of prison here yeah whether figuratively or literally um, getting that your person is feeling like um, they're experiencing some sort of a, a release like a new a new a new lease on life they they've got a, a return of hope and a feeling of feeling free and feeling liberated. So it could be like, um, you know, some of you have parted ways or broken up. This person could be feeling free and liberated for that, or they're viewing you this way. Either way, I see them coming out of like self-imposed restrictions or no longer self-sabotaging they're they're getting out of isolation and I feel this is due to um, you know I feel like they were really isolating themselves or really being in their own head worried about a situation worried about this situation because of being let down because of feeling I feel like some of them have been really let down or disappointed by you or this connection and this had them really in their head feeling trapped and feeling um, immobilized almost 
and now they're you know coming out of that energy they're starting they're starting to escape that energy and feel more liberated and more free okay so what um show me the viewers feelings towards this person please we've got the hermit in reverse yeah you're seeing them that way as well you're seeing them as freeing themselves they're freeing themselves this is virgo energy by the way we've got water and air here as well as virgo but either way it's like um you're feeling like this person is no longer wanting to be alone all the time because the hermit you know in the upright talks about going off on your own doing your own thing being alone um being very introspective Um, and I think this is probably having the effect of making you so if you're if your person has a new lease on life if they are starting to get out more if they're experiencing some for, sort of freedom from this connection I feel for you viewer that it is making you feel a bit lonely it's having the opposite effect on you it's almost like a trade-off here it's like this person's feeling less lonely um, or less isolated and um, and you're feeling more lonely and more isolated. It's like a trade-off of energy. Somebody, you could be viewing your person as repeating past mistakes. You could be viewing your person as stuck. For some of you, you aren't feeling lonely, but you still think this person is feeling lonely, isolated, and stuck with regards to this connection, but I see them coming out of that energy and not being stuck anymore. you probably feel that this person has been let down by this connection I feel like you have been let down by this connection disappointed as well maybe you both have gone through about a depression over it I don't know somebody has but it's a general reading but either way I feel like um, your person's definitely coming out of that energy And I'm not sure that you're aware of it. You, you might be thinking that they still haven't learned their lesson. They're still stuck on you or something. Or they are feeling that way about you that you haven't learned your lesson. And, and you know, you're still stuck on them. But show me group two's person's feelings towards this connection, please. Or towards them. What is group two's person? Spirit, what is group, group two's person feeling t towards group two? Five of Cups. So very similar energies here. It's more water sign energy with the Five of Cups. They're feeling, um, you know, they're feeling regret and they're feeling the loss of this connection. This is because you know they've likely let you down. They're um, they're disrupted actually, you know something got out of control in this connection and they feel badly about it so they are feeling I feel like um, a lot of your your people a lot of your love interests those love interests are feeling um, abandoned or in love to your it's amazing kind of how you guys are both mirroring each other like say you're this knight of cups you're feeling towards this person that um, they're still stuck on you um, or they're not learning their lessons to say the very least and then your person say they're this eight of swords in reverse they were stuck but they've gotten out of that stuck and stagnant energy or they're viewing you this way as having been stuck and um, they're feeling badly about what's happened but they also know that they've made you feel badly and, and this makes them feel badly. So it's like a lot of similar energy. Could have been just the timing was not right or hasn't been right in this connection for it to really be in balance for you guys to um, to hit your stride, for you guys to, to get along, you know? 
Um, there's definitely been imbalance in this connection. And then I'm seeing also some sort of disruption, some sort of sense of feeling out of control here. I think you both feel out of control regarding this connection. And there is a lot of blocked energy between the two of you. So let's see what happened in the past. Angel spirits and guides, show me the past. For group two, please, for those who have chosen group two. What's the past between them? the ace of cup or i'm sorry ace of pentacles earth sign energy so that's in reverse so it's like a blockage to a new beginning it looked like something here had a chance of being really strong really grounded really beautiful like there was a beautiful grounded new beginning in the past that was trying to take place or look like it might take place between the two of you but instead um you know it didn't come to fruition it could have been that um you know, with the Nine of Cups at the back of the deck. Somebody was being selfish. Somebody was thinking only of themselves, only of their own rewards in the situation. So instead of honoring like a grounded new beginning of something that could have been really successful and wonderful and focusing on this connection, instead somebody could have been more worried about, you know, their money or their possessions or let their attachment to material goodies get in the way of this connection. I'm definitely seeing that um, there was restriction in this connection either way and um, and it was it resulted in a missed opportunity in love and it was because of this nine of cups you know energy here with this card coming out you know at the back of the deck more water sign energy somebody wanting you know it is a card of wish fulfillment, but it's a card of getting your own wishes met, not really caring, you know, if anyone else got their wishes met. And this connection, you you know, it's like one person got, um, was self-satisfied, self-serving in the connection, and it caused somebody here to walk away, that Eight of Cups. Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of you that are watching this have, um, you know, there's a part of you, if, if not all of you, that has chosen to devote yourself to sticking this out in hopes that one day it will work out and one day the timing will be right between the two of you. And sometimes that is the case. But others of you, I just feel like um, there's some lessons that you're failing to learn or your person's failing to learn with that hermit in reverse here. Your energy towards them is this failure to learn lessons. And so you might want to reflect on that. Don't get triggered. Don't shoot the messenger. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it, but that'll resonate for somebody that there's a sense of wandering aimlessly in this connection, even if you left the connection because you're still hoping that eventually things will right themselves with you and this person. I see that this relationship does need a lot of work regardless. Let's look, let's look at present present energy. Got the Six of Cups in reverse. So the Six of Cups at present, well, it's a very sweet and wonderful card, right? In the upright. You could talk about, um, you know, somebody that you know from your past and that person coming back or talking about, um, you know, childhood memories and a lot of reminiscing about childhood memories and feeling nostalgic. And But when it's in reverse, it's a little bit different. It's still kind of positive, um, but it's more about being a bit naive, having unrealistic expectations for this connection, you know, things along those lines. Okay. I just feel like it was with this justice card in reverse here at the back of the deck, 
that um, this person or you know we'll just say it was your person who caused an injustice in this connection there has been injustice in this connection inequality unequal give and take here and could have been the result of dishonesty um, definitely some sort of unfairness maybe somebody had some legal problems but either way with that six in reverse I'm feeling like um, there's a need to be honest with oneself to be fair with oneself and um, to have realistic expectations about what can happen in this connection and I feel the best thing that whoever's resonating with this reading can do is just continue to work on yourself and heal move to a better place like go someplace where you can heal recover from this connection more fully Is that's what I'm getting here so I'm gonna get some cards here what other cards what cards did I get for previous group get you a couple of notes from your beloved somebody could be a Libra with that justice card but it doesn't have to be group two's person want to say to them please that I can't breathe without you and this person's definitely feeling grief over the loss of this connection When I choose a partner, I consider other factors besides just emotions. Yeah, I can see that. It's like this person was thinking about themselves, thinking about what they would get out of the relationship. And if you guys weren't doing enough, like you weren't well off enough financially or the prospects in this relationship didn't look good enough for them in a material sense, then they would have blocked this um, connection from getting off the ground. They would have missed this opportunity because they were too busy thinking about, you know, themselves and what they wanted and making money and just, you know, egoic 3D wants and needs. It's a selfish energy. So a lot of you do think that this person is emotionally abusive or manipulative. They could have done like emotionally manipulated you but you still trying to see like the best in them um, I feel like this person is um, I think you know that this person is their own worst enemy and you have compassion and empathy for that but I feel like they are turning that around they are recognizing the error of their ways but I feel like your combined energy is that of, you know, being stuck in the past because you can't really figure out a way forward here in this connection. The only thing worse than a man you can't control is a man you can. And you know, this card comes out a lot, especially in this past week. And I have 78 cards in this deck. I made so many cards so that when people buy the deck, they can um, customize it by removing those cards that don't resonate with them and making their own sort of you know deck but this card still keeps coming out because control has been an issue here this person has feared being allowing you to be in control feared giving up their independence I'm getting because we saw that nine of cups nine is about like this is single energy and um, yeah it's independent energy it's about um, getting your own wishes and wants and needs met but like in a selfish way like your number one focus is getting yourself like putting yourself first all the time yeah you, you can still like share some of the some of the love or some of the pleasure that you have to offer with other people you know as you wish but you're still putting yourself like first in kind of a selfish way and in this relationship it has not been positive for this relationship So just take those message how you know messages how they resonate and I'm gonna get you healing with the fairies cards I think yeah 
for advice, angel spirits and guides for those who tuned in for group two. Before I take it over the extended, can we get advice please for them regarding this reading? What advice do you have for group two regarding this reading please spirit? Visualization and moving forward fearlessly at the back of the deck. So, um, they're asking you to visualize what you want and, and refrain from seeing, you know, what you don't want. And so it's saying that um, just recognize it's okay for you to daydream about this person. Um, I feel like they're probably stuck in the past being very nostalgic about you. But you, you don't want to have unrealistic expectations. You do want to keep up your hopes and visualizations, though. So those can be manifested. And also we've got moving forward fearlessly. And that's basically just telling you that, you know, you are making, you know, big breakthroughs in your life by putting your divinely inspired ideas into action. And so Spirit is asking you to trust that they are guiding you. Your Spirit Guides are guiding you every step of the way. And it's asking you to, you know, listen to your strong impulses, repetitive thoughts and feelings. You know, because those, um, those are messages from Spirit. Those aren't examples of just wishful thinking. So it's almost like your person is the one who is being more... Um, unrealistic or naive living in the past about this connection and not seeing it through a realistic light because this is asking you to continue to visualize and to continue to listen to your dreams to continue to move towards those and to honor your true feelings as you do so and, and don't let fear stop you from getting what you want what's in your heart what your true heart's desire and I feel like some of you will find out that this person is actually not once you're real true and honest with yourself is not your heart's desire but that won't resonate for everybody but still just um, continue to move forward and take tiny steps, no matter how small they are, to move forward towards your goals, you know, towards your heart's desires, and you can visualize on that as well. And that will help you in this connection, okay? So if anything, um, you know, at present I'm seeing this person is feeling lost, feeling regret. They are coming out of stagnation and feeling stuck over this connection, but, um, you know, somebody's behaved manipulative here, very emotionally manipulative, has refused to learn some lessons. Um, and as a result of that, there's been a missed opportunity, but you know, someone here is just continuing to hold on to the past and um, have unrealistic expectations towards the past. So all that spirit is asking you to do, you know, is recognize, you know, who this person is, that they are the type of person who considers other factors, not just their emotions, Um, and, and I feel like this person does miss you if you guys are in separation or if you're in conflict. But Spirit is asking you to not let this person bog you down, not let, the, not, not let them stop you from reaching your potential, from moving towards your dreams. And Spirit is asking you not to give up on your hopes and your dreams, um, to be true to yourself and true to your heart's desires, right? You might have to revise some of your dreams by being honest with yourself, but I feel like, um, I just feel like spirit feels that you have, you know, better things ahead of you and that you're moving towards that now and they're guiding you. And so listen to your intuition, pray on it and allow yourself to be guided. So thanks for tuning in group two. I'm going to take this to the extended where I'm going to pull some more messages and we're going to find out the future energy of this connection as well as, um, the outcome so the big overall message of the reading so if you'd like to follow me over there please do so link for that will be down below otherwise I'll talk to you next time welcome group three thanks for tuning in for your reading hope everybody is doing well and staying safe so think about your person your person you came to the reading for this is an energy checkup we're gonna look at your person's thoughts and feelings towards the connection as well as yours and then your feelings towards one another then we're gonna take a peek at past energy as well as present energy and um, get a couple of messages from your person and advice. Then I will be taking it over to the extended for future and outcome. But angel spirits and guides for those who've tuned in for group three. And show me what's going on in this connection, thoughts and feelings towards one another, please. the nine of pentacles in reverse it's representing your thoughts and feelings towards this connection 
feel like some of you aren't taking um, as good a care of yourself as you could be. I feel like some of you are putting this person's um, feelings first um, and needing to just kind of keep your boundaries up a bit. Maybe money's not the greatest. Um, maybe some of you have lent this person money or your resources, your time. You certainly lent them your energy or been putting a lot of energy into this connection. So I'm seeing that um, you're going to want to sort of avoid, you know, wearing yourself out, um, getting kind of a workaholic energy from some of you, or just being overly focused on this connection. Some of you could be experiencing jealousy towards this other person for some reason, or your person's being jealous towards you, and that's making your life difficult. Um, and like I said, could be some sort of a financial setback as well. But I do feel like for overall, you are... Um, you know, a nurturing person. You are a healing person. And you're someone that likes to support others, but I'm feeling like you're not supporting, you know, yourself the way that you should be at this time. So take it how it resonates. As always, readings and roles can be reversed or interchangeable. This is what I'm getting. And let's look at what your person's thoughts and feelings are towards this connection. Group three, group three's person. What is group three's person's thoughts and feelings towards this connection, please? thoughts and feelings for this connection with these spirit. I'm feeling like a soulmate energy from the two of you. I'm going to just say that. I'm getting that. We do have the, um, the six of wands, so that's fire sign energy. We've got earth here and we've got fire. So it's like your person is like, hey, everybody look at me. I'm amazing at everything I do. Ah, ha, ha. I smell like a god. This is just a silly card. This is the mood tarot. Um, but it is a card about feeling victorious. It's a card about being a bit in the ego. It is a card about feeling like they're getting recognition, feeling like good news. They've received good news or they're feeling successful. So I don't know if you're the one that's made this person feel this way and now you're all worn out as a result of that. But um, this person feels either way that they can have a successful relationship with you. They could even think that you are um, their true love or something like that. Like I said, I feel that this is a soulmate relationship. I'm feeling that this person does have deeper feelings for you. They are um, sort of in their ego, riding high on their horse, um, feeling victorious towards this connection for some reason. But I am still getting that, that this person um, wants to be or has the capacity to be supportive towards you or even has been supportive towards you. Um, this person just likes to be the leader. I feel they do have empathy towards you. They probably um, understand you emotionally more than you would think because they are someone who um, likes external validation will go to great lengths to be um, admired and looked up to. So group three's person, what's group three's person's feelings towards um, group three, please? And just for and guides, what's the person's feelings towards them? What's group three's person's feelings towards them, please, spirit? says angels are here okay I wouldn't be surprised if from my notes from your beloved deck the angel you look like an angel card came out but um, they feel good towards you um, they feel that you guys get along well or like you could get along well but again I feel this could be because you're putting yourself out so much for them I just keep getting that message so Either way, the temperance card talks about um, it talks about balance. So they feel like you're a balanced person. They feel balanced and harmonious in your in your presence. They feel like you're very um, self controlled or very patient with them, or maybe in general. And they feel that um, you know, with patience, the two of you can mix your your energies together into something that um, 
could create something, you know, really good, like a mixed drink, okay? Because <laughs> this is talking about, um, well, the card says just watering down this vodka, but I feel like um, that's kind of what this angel is doing on the temperance card, combining the two cups uh, um, into something, you know, new, right? Um, that makes me think of like mixing a drink. And so if you, if you combine the right ingredients, it's like, much more than the sum of its parts. The whole is much more than the sum of its parts and your person sees you this way. So they have very strong feelings for you. Strong feelings that you can be this person, that they can, um, I'm hearing re reach a compromise with, but also can um, have something really good with. And then again, like I said, they like that you are, um, that you make them feel peaceful somehow. I feel like you both have supportive energies. You could be a healer towards this person. I'm not gonna lie, do you feel like at this point it's a bit more one-sided because you did come out as the Nine of Pentacles in reverse towards this connection? What is, um, yeah, we've got your feelings towards them is the Moon card. So, um, car talks about going on a road trip um, anyway the moon moon card is just feeling unsure have lacking clarity being in a fog like having deep feelings towards this person but not really knowing what to make of them something about this person makes you feel unsettled inside while you make them feel peaceful there's something about you that you're not sure about Yeah, there's, um, like your intuitive is, your intuitive, your intuition, maybe you are an intuitive, but your intuition is strong. And with regards to this person, it's like you can sense there's some unseen problems under the surface here that, that, um, that you want to change. That you volunteer to change, like you probably take on more in this connection because you're trying to troubleshoot problems before they become bigger in this connection. So I feel that you are, um, you know, trusting your intuition regarding this person, but I do feel like it kind of wears you out. We've got the um, five of wands here, but it was in reverse, so it's better in reverse. So that kind of wanted to come out with the, with the moon card. So saying that, um, if problems are resolved in this connection, it's I feel like it's largely your doing and your desire. You both want harmony in the connection, but I feel like you just, um, due to your intuition, you may be able to pick up on problems that are underneath the surface more quickly than your person, who is a little bit busy um, fighting battles and being supported by the, their community, friends, or whoever, trying to um, show off, perhaps. Um, not that they're a bad person, but I'm just saying that you're more in tune, therefore you probably do more in this connection. And I feel that um, yeah you're the one that does you know because it's like just the presence of this five of wands you know when in the upright it's about rivalry obstacles challenges it's like you're the one using your intuition here to keep the, this um, five of wands in reverse where it's um, where the problems are resolved versus where there are actual problems with it being in the upright. Like you're the one that stops it from being a problem. So let's take it how it resonates. <laughs> I don't know how well I'm explaining that. I know what I'm trying to explain, but um, yeah. And I feel like there are some unknown, I mean, you have fears about this connection. So, um, and I feel like you, feel, you fear the obstacles or perhaps outside interference, perhaps from people that are around your person. You, you have fears that some obstacles can get in the way of this connection. So what is the past energy of this connection, Spirit? For those who've chosen group three, what is the past? If this reading is resonating, let me know in the comment section down below and hit, hit the like <laughs> like share and subscribe if you would that does keep the channel going 
and I appreciate it. What is the past energy between group three and their person, please? There's a past energy here between these two. The judgment card, yeah, they're watching. That's what it says. So you feel pressure from outsiders regarding this connection. The judgment card, talking about they're watching. And you could feel like um, people around you or your person are judging this connection. Maybe you feel that your person is judgmental or in the past you guys have been critical or judgmental towards one another. Maybe that's one of the obstacles you're trying to offset. You're trying to um, weed out any problems before they grow into something worse, address any issues before they get into become something worse. Definitely see that, you know, you guys have gotten clarity on this connection. There was a decision that needed to be made in the past and someone, you know, saw the writing on the wall, got a wake up call on that, that helped them make a decision, you or your person or both. And I feel that this connection um, with these, this major arcana has come into your life for a reason. It was meant to happen because um, it's a soulmate connection, like I said. So you're learning things from one another. I'm getting that, um, I'm, I'm just feeling burnt out energy here in the past, some restlessness, some anxiety. So either your person feels restless and anxious or you do or you do because you pick up on their restlessness and anxiety. But I feel like in the past, there was a decision that needed to be made in order to take some action here. And I feel that your person, your person's energy towards this connection is that they have taken action and they've been successful or, you know, they're, they're planning to take action. But either way, they're having like, um, you know, a victorious energy towards this connection. What's the present present energy of this um, connection, please, Spirit, for group three, group three and the person? What's the present energy here? Make sure those cards are kinda so present energy between group three and their person, please. There's lack of clarity in the connection. Ace of Swords, air sign energy. Um, yeah, at present there is some, there's like a mental block to this connection. Perhaps the communication isn't the greatest right now and so this gives you anxiety because you want the communication to be better or they do. I'm feeling like somebody's lacking good judgment in this connection so um, definitely there's something to do with mental stress here. I feel like you're picking up, picking up on problems in this connection that this person might be a little bit oblivious to. It's like you're, um, you're taking care of, you know, you're taking care of things. And so this person never really gets to see, you know, just how bad things would be without you. Um, I mean, even if you're in separation with this person, which a lot of people on my, who watch my channel are in separation from their person, it's still like you're, um, you're, just, you're just a caregiver. You're someone that handles things. You're someone that diffuses situations. And so I feel like there's a lack of understanding um, as a result of that between the two of you as to as to um, the health of this connection and what needs to be done here. Could have been that somebody made a bad decision in the past and was dishonest about it as well. Maybe you just found out about that or your person did and that's caused you know some stress. But either way, um, yeah, I'm seeing that, you know mental stress at present between the two of you and um, the need for more honesty here. Again, I'm feeling like someone is feeling restless and anxious, burnt out and ready to take action. Eight 
and you know I guess if you want this person to take action towards you group three that's a that's good news because they're wanting to take action but it's due to feeling um, a bit restless and anxious I really am feeling like um, well they might have some restlessness and anxiety towards this connection I feel like it's um, like more your energy from having invested so much in this connection and having such lack of clarity with regard to how this person is um, actually feeling for you. For some of you, this person, you know, has friends owned you, but not for everybody. So just take it how it resonates. And I'm gonna get some messages from your person now. Group two, I'm sorry, group three's person want to say to them, please? What does group three's person want to say to them? It says you need kissing badly, that's what's wrong with you. So yeah, I feel like it is you. Um, you're high strung about the situation. And then we've got, um, you're the first thing I think about in the morning and the last thing I think about at night. So this person does feel optimistic towards this connection. Again, I feel like you bring harmony and balance to them. But you're feeling restless and anxious and like you're not getting something that you really need from this. Let's get another message from group three's person, please. Of you have you know changed yourselves in some ways that you that you thought wasn't going to be a big deal for you but it's ending up you're kind of resenting that the things you had to change change for yourself you know change of yourself to um to win this person's favor or to satisfy them in some way One more message from group three's person, please. Our relationship is never consistent. Why can't we find a stable ground? So that could, um, that could be you, you know? There's inconsistency and stability in the connection, a need for a stable ground. That's probably what's making you feel anxious. It's like it's just not coming together. It's not stabilizing strong, strongly enough to your, for your satisfaction. Your, you know, pentacles in reverse. Pentacles upright is about stability. In reverse is saying that your thoughts and feelings towards this connection, that this is unstable. And your person, you know, I, like I said, I feel they feel that they feel what you're feeling. They understand. They know that too. I feel like um, you know they don't they don't want you to let go of the situation but they're also feeling your frustration as well I don't think it's really stopping them from doing what they want to do but they do they are aware of that aware of it if it makes sense so I'm gonna get um, healing with the fairies here spirits and guys for those who have chosen group three can we get advice on this connection we've got new opportunity so we've got a new opportunity here also I wanted to get you um, island time wellness I think I might have forgot to do that for group two uh, I did it in group two's extended but I think I forgot to do it on YouTube Um, clarification and guidance on this reading for group three, please. Got what a catch 
an ideal partner or mate, abundant self-esteem value? The answer is yes, marriage material. So this person I feel does feel that you are um, marriage material, that you are a catch, but I feel like you're kind of, some of you are wearing yourselves out. Um, this person is high maintenance. Um, if they're not ma high maintenance, um, well, they kind of are. I'm just getting that they kind of are. If this is your reading, then they kind of are. Um, and so they're viewing you as um, an ideal catch. And then we've got bold move, an invitation, being proactive, taking steps, making things happen, gift for someone or for yourself. I feel like you need to give yourself a gift. You know, do something bold, radical self-care. So you're not in reverse here. These cards kind of look alike. So, um, but yeah, I, I get that this person is has made some bold move towards this connection, um, or will make some bold move towards this connection. This is an action card. This is their feelings towards the connection. It's like um, they're feeling victorious towards this connection, like they can have success in it, or they they feel like it is successful. You know, after a time of being unsure or needing to assess the situation in the past. It's like they, they did that and you did that and then you both decided that um, that you wanted to move forward with the connection or this, there was some decision that was made and it resulted in sort of like a new lease on life or a new outlook towards a connection, a new opportunity but at present, there's this like something that's not clicking communication wise or in terms of like the way that you each are thinking about the situation. Okay. So with the new opportunity card is saying, you know, your guides are telling you there's a, a huge new opportunity being presented to you and that it is safe for you to enter into this new realm. So whatever that opportunity is, it could be talking about, um, well, anything really. It could be talking about a work opportunity if money is bad for you right now, group three, that's showing that there could be an opportunity regarding money and work that could be quite unprofitable. You know, just pay attention, you know, to some opportunity that's being presented to you. And this person could be making a proposal to some of you. Like, for some of you who are watching this, your person could be making, you a, pro making a proposal to you. So all this person thinks of you as an ideal partner. They could be proposing marriage. Um, that will not resonate for everybody, but they could be proposing something to you, a new idea, um, an investment opportunity. Some of you have suffered some sort of a loss here, and if that's the case, Spirit is saying that this was necessary in order for you to gain something even more suitable. So just, you know, know your worth. Don't feel like unqualified or, un or intimidated to move to the next level because you are being guided through that window, and, you know, Spirit is protecting you. So this is a valid new opportunity, whatever it is. Just pray, pray for spiritual guidance on it. And um, notice and embrace, you know, all the opportunities in your life here with regard to this relationship and otherwise. Okay, so I'm going to take this over to the extended where we're going to get the future energy of this reading as well as the outcome, which is the um, overarching energy or the big message of the, of the reading. Then we'll get a couple of more messages from your person cards and I think, oh yeah, and we'll ask your guides for, for advice as well. So follow me over there if you'd like to, but if this is where we part ways, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you and I'll talk to you next time. Hey everyone. So these are the cards that were used in today's reading. We've got the very funny and cheeky um, mood tarot. Okay, this is what they look like. Each, um, you know, card has a little caption with a little kind of funny and sometimes <laughs> in questionable taste uh, commentary but um, they're quite amusing sometimes and we've got my notes from your beloved deck which I will be getting the um, link for that put up for anyone who's interested in purchasing that also used the um, healing with the fairies deck which I have had this deck for 20 years so it's a little bit um, like yellowed around the edges, but it's still a beautiful deck. For anybody who's interested in that, the link for that will be down below. We've got Island Time Wellness, which unfortunately is not available on Amazon at present, but that changes all the time. 
Then we've got Cosmic Cycles Tarot that I used in one of the readings today. Somebody was asking about that. The link for that is down in the description box below. Also, we had um, the Fairy Magic is a part of the Making Magic deck, which comes with its own little back with <laughs> box within some magnetic clasp here. Tells you how to use the cards and um, to in spell work, you know, and how to achieve your goals. You could just use them as, you know, as is like I do in, in doing your readings. Um, we have the Notes from the Universe deck, which these are, you know, quite nice. I really like these cards, actually. I like the colors. I like the sayings. This is from um, anybody who follows Mike Dooley. He, he was featured on The on the Secret many years ago, but he is um, a force. And, Force to be reckoned with in his own right, he's extremely insightful and he does it in such a way that you don't mind, you know, learning from him. And what other decks did I use? The Barbara Walker deck. This is a vintage deck, it's a reproduction of a vintage deck. Um, I really like this, I'm an 80s child, an 80s kid, so. A lot of this artwork is um, similar to that, what we would have saw in like She-Ra or <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. Maybe Conan the Barbarian type. It's a matriarchal deck as well, so it's good stuff. We've got the Hoodoo Tarot. And I did do um, flip throughs for both the Cosmic Cycles and the Hoodoo Tarot, so check my channel if you want to see the full decks. And I'm not sure, I think that's all that I used. Bear with me here. Yeah, I wanna say that's all I used today. I might have used the Numinous deck in one of them, which link for that is also down below. And um, that's what I've got for you. So thanks for um, staying with me to learn about the decks and I will talk to you next time.